Hello, my Deep Soul Tribe. How are you doing? Welcome back. If you are returning and if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Deep Soul Tarot. You are tuning in to the Daily Dose, which is Daily Wisdom. I have a theme for every day. So today is Friday Frequencies. And today happens to be Friday the 13th. So we're going to get the energies and the frequencies for Friday the 13th. <clears throat> so welcome to you who are new. I am Kelly. This, for those of you who don't know, is Remy, my new assistant, the newest member of the Deep Soul Tribe. Um, he is my assistant, my sidekick, and um, my mentor, if you will. <laughs> my little mascot. And Remy is here to remind you, subscribe and join the tribe. <laughs> All right, Remy, here we go. Over to your little corner of the world, his own little personal office. So, we're going to do um, Friday the 13th uh, energies. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to, I'm kind of winging it here. So, uh, cause this is, this is a difference. This is Friday the 13th. I thought I would try to do something different. Uh, I'm going to get some general energies as a collective. And then I'm going to pull an Oracle card for each individual element and, um, work our way through the elements and, um, see how that goes. Okay. So. Let's see here. What do you have, Spirit? For the collective today. Friday the 13th, 2020, and moving forward. Friday the 13th was never a bad day for me. Ever. And then uh, in my life, many years ago, but something fairly drastic happened. And my life changed... In very many ways. I want to say for the worse at that time. And as time goes, has gone on, been through a lot of ups and downs. Many downs, and then there were ups. This is definitely an up. So that just goes to show you that no matter how many downs you have, how crappy may, life may be, and believe me, it was pretty bad. Um, good things can happen from that. So moving forward. Always moving forward. Okay, everything is in divine timing because I wanted to start this before and it didn't happen. But here I am. Okay, so this, <laughs> this will be a um, collective read. A general read, I'm sorry. It's a collective read, but a general read. So it may not resonate with all of you. Keep that in mind. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Same goes for the each individual elements when I do that. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate it. I'll figure that out when I get there. If I'm just going to do just general energies for the element or each elemental, depending on how, how long this is. Um, it's a timeless read. So um, time is an illusion. An illusion. And energy is fluid. So, two things. Some of this may have already happened to you. It's happening right now. Or may not even happen yet. And will be happening within the future. It doesn't even have to be March. Okay? It could be for... So, let's say, for example, you're watching this video somewhere in April or beyond. That's okay. These are timeless. Just because I'm doing this for Friday the 13th of, of March 2020, um, it doesn't matter. Moving forward. Okay? Um... So if you happen to see this and you decide to click on it and you watch the video and it does resonate, that is most likely when you were guided to watch it and most likely when there is a message in there for you at that time. Okie doke. Let's get to rolling. All right, Spirit. What are they? Well, there we got something already. What energies do you have? General energies. That one wanted to come out. For our collective at this time. So this is uh, the daily dose. So you're going to get your daily wisdom. So your daily dose and moving forward. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. Spirit says that's good. That is good. These came out sideways. Upright, sideways, face down. We'll start with these. But we'll do the general energy first. Um, so anyway, these are daily doses so of, of wisdom. But it is wisdom for the day and moving forward. So again, if you happen to be watching this at some other day in March or some other time within the year, doesn't matter. The energy for you at that time and moving forward. So, hmm, the wheel looks, oh, and the devil. All right, it looks like we all have some sort of lesson to learn here. Every single sign. Hmm. 
These two came out first, and then the Queen of Pentacles came out. So we'll do it in order, uh, at least for now. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune with the Devil underneath, it's time to... There's some sort of um, toxic energy or toxic situation that you are working yourself out of through something. The wheel is all about learning a lesson. And there's some sort of chance that you are being called to take in order to move forward. All right? With the wheel, I always say, if you don't spin, you can't win. If you don't take chances in life, and you may not win every time, but you can be guaranteed you'll never win if you don't take chances. Okay? So, we have the Six of Pentacles. It's a situation of give and take. Um... With the hangman, kind of a feeling of being in limbo, indecision, not taking a whole lot of action right now. It's almost as if you're not willing to give to a situation anymore, and you're more focused on yourself. The queen of pentacles is very much a nurturing energy. Um... It is a feminine energy. If I refer to any of the cards as he or she, it's masculine or feminine energy. These are not gender specific at all. Um, we all have feminine and masculine within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other, regardless of our physical gender. Gender. Gender! <laughs> um, so just so you're aware of that. So if I refer to, say, the queen is a feminine energy. Feminine energy is more nurturing, emotional, whereas masculine energy is more analytical, cerebral, if you will. Make decisions more from the mind than the, the heart, per se per se, and it does depend on the elements in your chart, and I will be in the link, in the box below, I'll be including a link, you can check your birth chart if you don't know it, I strongly recommend you do that, because I will be doing, like I said, elements in here, and whatever your sun sign may be, you, it's very valuable to know your, your whole chart, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and you put your the link below, you click on that, put your birth date in, it'll give you your whole chart. If you know your birth time, that's even better. It'll give you your rising sign. So you can get everything with your birth date except for your rising sign, at least in that particular link. I think if you don't know your time, um, I'm, not about, I'm not sure about that link, but there are links that can give you like a general idea. You can put in midnight, and then it'll sometimes come up with a general idea, but that's not necessarily as accurate as it could be. But let's just, just say it. Okay, so... Um, It's almost as if you're taking a time out from a situation and you're on your own right now and dealing with you and, and, and getting yourself together. Again, that's a very nurturing energy. And the Queen of Pent Pentacles are a slow-moving energy and a very patient energy. You're willing to stop and take a time out in order to work through what you need to work through in order to move forward in this. And again, this is a collective read. Uh, this may not resonate for all of you. But I am hearing that in order to win, you're going to have to take a chance at some, at some point and spin. But that doesn't mean you have to do it right away. The Queen of Pentacles is almost saying, take some time out for yourself. Underneath, yeah, underneath, and it could be a love situation. It doesn't have to be. Underneath, underlying all this, or with dormant within you, you are almost resistant about something. It's like you are um, resistant to move forward. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You can see how this person in this picture, in this particular deck, the person almost looks zen. Looks like he's concentrating on um, his or her emotions. Again, not gender specific. Um, but it's a he in the picture here. Uh, he's focusing on his emotions. Listening to almost his intuition. This particular symbol, I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's a Celtic symbol. It's called... Triskelion, I believe it is. And to me, this is um, a triad, a triple of the mind, the body, and the soul. And it's like you are being at one. Again, like I said, Zen, being at one with yourself right now. And right now, you're content to be by yourself. Um, not really willing to accept another cup of love. So maybe you've gotten out of a relationship 
or are in the process of doing that and you're not really interested in looking for new love and this is suggesting you take some time out for yourself now these came out sideways and face down okay we will deal with the fact that face down it could be underlying the issue or or within you something is either dormant that you're not aware of same with this one or something that is within you that you're not willing to deal with or not wanting to deal with and these are in reverse so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Well, not they're not in reverse. I'm sorry, they're sideways. Nine of Pentacles, and I'm going to put them upward. Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. I'm going to read them as if they, you know, sideways. But I'm just going to say the Nine of Pentacles is all about independence. This is all about you and cutting something, again, cutting something out, cutting something toxic. So what I'm hearing about for the collective here, this is all about working on yourself. For every single, whoever this resonates for, for every single sign. Okay. But there's something that you have not done yet, being that these are sideways. Something that you have, it's not in reverse. So it's almost as if you're still working through the process. Or maybe you're still in, with this person and you're working your way out of the relationship or a situation. A switch, situationship, if you will. Um, and it doesn't have to be a love situation, okay? Here's my little, just so you know if you can see it by my little, uh, it's a little um, poster. I love it. That's, I don't have any tattoos, and I'm thinking of getting that tattoo. I am Irish, so uh, but I've never gotten a tattoo. I've always wanted one, never gotten one, and I wanted something specific. And that one, just when I saw it, I'm like, hmm, I like that. Mind, body, and spirit. It's like being at one, being independent and being okay with who you are, being at one with yourself, you know? If you have other people in your life, that's just added, but it's being okay with yourself. That's, that's how I view it, at least. You can look at it in different ways, but it's, I see mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so for the, for everybody, um, absolutely, spirit is saying that there is a need for independence here and cutting something out, and you haven't quite gotten there yet. And um, maybe you're still dealing with the repercussions of whatever the situation is or was. Okay? So that's what I have as far as general energy. Um, oops, sorry. I knocked the... All right. And then what I will do here... Working on self-healing, working on ourselves. You know, look at you, reflect on your life, assess your life. Is there something in your life that is not serving you or is toxic? That is, you know... Uh, an obsession. The devil is about obsession, addictive behavior. So it could be an addiction, it could be an obsession with someone or something. Um, it could be it could even be something like being a workaholic. It could be um, toxic thoughts. You know, ha having self doubt. Um, you know, you figure it out. What is not more in the negative? What is what is a negative thing in your life that if you change that behavior or got out of that situation um, things would change just just saying okay um, I will start with the water signs this is Pisces season so I will start with the water signs for right now um, Happy birthday to all the Pisces out there, whether your birthday is today or has passed. I had a friend who had a birthday yesterday, and before that, my sister's birthday is the 11th, but I don't talk to her, so she doesn't count. She's not even alive to me, so just saying. But the day before that, March 10th, was another friend. That's the roommate that I share a room with here. So we're going to get a, um, these are the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. And I'm going to pull... A card for each of for each of you. All right, let's cut the deck here, and then I'll clarify with a couple more cards just to give you a general idea. Uh, so oh, here, let's do it this way. Let's see how this works. So the first card I will pull for will be for Cancer. So remember, this is self-healing, things you need to work on in your life that will allow you to move forward. One of these cards is in reverse. I just saw it upside down. There it is. All right? Yeah. Okay. I, I 
put some of the cards away wrong when I put for the last reading I did. I just did Pisces love reading. So for any Pisces out there, there's another card that's upside down. Um, I just did the Pisces love reading, and before that, uh, that isn't uploaded yet though. So I will be, uh, will be, uh, I haven't finished editing it. And I also, um, well, yesterday I did Thursday thoughts, so I did those two. Those are my latest ones. But if you subscribe, join the tribe. And hit the bell button, you'll get notifications of any of those. I am going to be doing a Twin Flame reading too, which I will be doing sometime today, I believe. So I'm going to do a collective read for the Twin Flames, and then I will do two separate ones. One for the Divine Masculine, one for the Divine Feminine. Okay, so be on the lookout for those. I don't know if I will get them uploaded onto YouTube today, but that definitely will come out over the weekend. I'll have them done and ready to be uh, taken care of. Let me do my editing and whatever I need to do with the videos. Okay. Cancers, you got healing chaos. Well, I'm a cancer, Casper Leo. You. Aren't we always trying to heal chaos? <laughs> heal chaos. Um, and Scorpio, you got truth. And Pisces, you got trust. And the general energy for the water signs is thriving. Thriving. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, and I will clarify these, you know. Um, cancer, you're going to know when you hear the healing chaos, you're going to know there's a storm that, that you've gone through, are going through. It's like a damn tornado ripping through your life. It's kind of our life story, isn't it, sometimes? Not all the time, but sometimes. Um, but we're very resilient. You know, we're hard shell, we're resilient. So, Cancer, you got some healing to do here. All right? So, if I'm going to do this, because I will timestamp this, I guess. Um, so, this is thriving is for all three water signs. When we work through what we need to work through for each person here, so again, Cancer is healing chaos, Truth is Scorpio. And trust is Pisces, and I will clarify each one, and I'll timestamp those, okay? Um, so, when we all work through these particular issues in our lives, then we will thrive. All right, let's get a couple cards to see if we get any specifics for uh, cancer first, all right? These are all pre-shuffled, just so you know, these decks. Holy crap, cancer. Page of Wands on the bottom. Oh, damn. The world. Oh, nice. That's a nice card. Cancers. Maybe I should pay attention to this. Woo! I have a bag of ice on the floor because I'm upstairs and I, I have iced coffee and I want to keep adding ice to it. And I don't want to have to go back downstairs so I have it in a Ziploc, but it's it's a little wet on the carpet. <laughs> okay, five of cups. Okay. This is going to be something that is very emotional for you, Cancer. Go figure. <laughs> Aren't we always emotional? Um, <laughs> um, and there's some sort of loss here. Some sort of uh, regret, loss. You got the three cups. And you know, I'm a Cancer, so I'm going to say this. And you all, a lot of you, maybe not all of you, depending on what's in your chart, but many of us Cancers can kind of dwell. We cling to things. And it's like when we're brokenhearted or emotional about something, it's really hard to let go of that. It really is. And sometimes we just focus on... You know, why does this always happen to me? And I am guilty. I do it. I have to rein myself in and say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. You can't change what happened. Let's just move forward. Not always easy. Cancer, you got two cups right here. You're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. Have no fear. Okay? Because the world, the cycle is complete. Whatever you are going through right now, this chaos, this tornado, and you feel like you're caught in the eye of the storm, basically. Um... Have no fear. Don't focus on those empty cups. Don't focus on the regret or the loss. You have whatever it is. You've got brand new love because this is five of cups. It could be love. We just had a full moon. We're going towards the new moon, the dark moon, the new moon. And that's it. That's a new beginning. This cycle, this is the end of the cycle, Cancer. Okay? Just hang on. Hang on. Be tough. Be hang tough, Cancer. <laughs> hang tough because you're going to thrive. It's bad now or it has been bad, you're still working your way through it, and you may still have remnants. There may be some shrapnel and, and a little bit of rebuilding you need to do after the storm, but have no fear, okay? Scorpio, truth. 
It's all about being honest with yourself. Oh, I f I'm sorry, Cancer. I forgot about the bottom of the deck. The Page of Wands is... Oh, God, there's that motherfucking devil again. The Page of Wands is about... I'm sorry, I'm going back to Cancer here. Sorry, Scorpio. I will timestamp yours more appropriately after Cancer's. The Page of Wands here is saying that... Um, the Page of is a young energy in communication. I'm hearing almost be... I'm hearing about being creative. It, it's almost like you're feeling youthful again. You know? Don't let these toxic thoughts weigh you down. Because once you work through this... And interesting, there's the hangman too. <laughs> Just wait it out. Be patient. Just wait it out. It, it's coming. It's coming, Cancer. The pages one is some sort of communication, some sort of message is going to come in. Something that's going to be very positive. You know, this is a, a very positive communication card. Just saying. Okay? And the page of wands can also be about a message of the wands are all about action. Um, something creative. And I'm hearing youth. Either feeling youthful or making you feel young again after. After all this is over and you've dealt with it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Scorpio. What do we have for our Scorpios out there? Oh, you know what? I'm going to switch decks. I'm going to switch decks. Because, um, just in case, I don't want to take these away, and just in case the Five of Cups of the World wants to come out for Scorpio. Let's see. Now, I have three decks here, so and they've all been pre-shuffled. I do all of that before I do any readings. Let me flip this around because this is not working this way. All right, what do we have for our Scorpios? There's these two wanted to come in. There you go. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, Scorpio. Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment for you. Trust. Oh, no, sorry. That's not truth. Be honest with your situation. Look at all the storms. This this is the, uh, well, Father Earth, this is the sky blowing. I'm almost hearing, like, Spirit is blowing you in a certain direction. It's a dry spell. It's been a dry spell for you. But this tree is, look at how it's, it's standing up against the wind. No matter what is thrown at you, you are, whoo, my goodness. Something has really been giving you nightmares, worry, stress, something. Scorpio, you have the magician also. I'm hearing two different things with that, but they tie in together. Once you are honest with yourself and a specific situation, and whoever this resonates for, you're going to know what that means. Not only will you thrive, not only will you release some stress and worry, um, and I'm hearing that it could have even been an illusion. It's, so it's almost like you're lying to yourself or only wanting to see what you want to see. Uh... So it's an illusion, but you can manifest. Once you accept the truth of the situation, you can move forward and manifest and you will thrive. Absolutely. And you will have emotional fulfillment. Again, could be a love situation. Yes. Walk away from whatever it is that isn't working for you. And that's cups too. So it could very well be a love situation. Have no fear. You're going to have emotional fulfillment, whatever it is. And the Nine of Swords, the worry's going to be gone. And you it, you were illusioned, but not anymore. It's like the illusion uh, was there. Once you face the truth, then you can manifest. All right? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So far, so good. You know? When we do the work, you know, it's all divine timing. So once we've got our karmic lessons. Okay, Pisces. We're going to use my tried but true old Riker weight deck that I used when I first started. You know, and it's funny because this deck is so much heavier than the others. The cards are thicker. And, um, and look, they're, they're, it's pretty, I've used these quite a bit. Um, maybe a little dirty on the edges, but they have, uh, they stay together pretty good. All right, Pisces, here's what we got for you all. Page of Cups, mm-hmm. Two of Wands. Two of Wands? Yes, two of Wands. Chariot. Pisces, moving forward. 
Oh, wow, Pisces. Good job. Moving forward and taking a chance. And I specifically heard moving forward and taking a chance on love. This apparently is an all, an all love reading for you all. You know what? I'm just going to peek very quickly. What's in the thriving? Leadership. No, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> so, <laughs> moving forward. Mm-hmm. Moving forward and quickly. Taking a chance. Taking a chance on love. Nice, Pisces. All right, Page of Cups could be a younger person. This is what I'm hearing is a fairy tale romance. This is your little Prince Charming. Prince Charming offering you a cup of love. And look, there's there's you. There's the fish. Aww. And it's up to you to decide what you want to do. But this person could offer you the world. Wow. <laughs> Aww. And you're going to thrive. All my water signs are going to thrive. <laughs> I hope I'm included in that. <laughs> I need to heal chaos myself. All right. Already, already, already. So I'm going to move on to air signs. Let me just kind of reshuffle me cards. You ready, air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm sorry, Aquarius. I, I, I need more coffee. I've, I've done a couple of readings this morning and uh, I'm kind of tired, so, but I wanted to, I wanted to make sure I got this done and up and out. A little early for me, a little early. All right, but, and I'm trying to prepare for, uh, a day of Twin Flame readings. So y'all can get some readings over the weekend to kick back and listen to. If you are on a Twin Flame journey, again, subscribe and join the tribe and hit that bell button. And you'll know when they come out. And, I mean, it's March now, but April, I will be doing the Zodiac Love Signs, doing love readings again for the Zodiac Signs. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> uh, definitely monthly, maybe even bi-weekly. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. I have some other things going on in my life here that I need to take care of, so I'm trying to balance, speaking of balance, balance it all out. All right. That wasn't a very good shuffle but you know all right there's that one put these in here somewhere so how are y'all doing air signs hmm? so if you all are in a love situation any of y'all, you might want to check out those monthly reads. Okay, one more shuffle here. Monthly reads because they're all up now. And you know, you can check your Venus sign in particular and your moon sign. Venus is about love. Moon is about emotions. Um, Gemini's, you're ruled by Mercury. So you might want to check, you know, you all can check it because Mercury is about communication. But, I mean, because Gemini is ruled by Mercury, you might want to look into that too and just focus on those and again your rising sign can tell you a lot mars is about how you handle um altercations all right so this is going to be general energy here for the air signs first and then um then i'll do each individual sign really quickly all right ready here we all go Hold on, kitties. It might be a wild ride. <laughs> holy, holy moly. There's, there we go. Oh, the says that's it. Ooh, the, there you are, Gemini. The lovers. All right, but I'm for, oh, there's, oh, wow. Let me see what's underneath that. No, oh, sorry. But here's the deal. We have Gemini and Aquarius in the house. <laughs> Could be a love triangle, though. Could be a love triangle between, uh, some some of your air signs, uh, but um, it could just be that you have options and you're deciding between, you know, you have decisions to make between whom you may want to be with. Uh, the wish fulfillment card. This is Aquarius, as I said, but it's a self healing and a wish fulfillment card. So you know, set your wishes out to the. I saw the moon last night when I was laying here in bed. It was look right through my window. It was so cool. But send your wishes out to the universe and to spirit. And and there you go. Two cups. Two cups. So for you air signs, I am hearing that um, 
Don't worry, Libra, you're in here too. <laughs> it's just those two cards came out. Um, we are going to leave these two because your air signs. I'll leave it. Well, let's do it this way. Because that just kind of couples. But um, I am hearing that it's a, a love situation. And it could be a, a wish come true for whomever this is for. Whomever this is resonating for. Two of Cups. Definitely a partnership. Definitely, definitely a love situation here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Emperor. Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. Four of Pentacles. So we have two cups here. Just going to point out, you could be dealing with an Aries because that is a major arcana. Um, you air signs could be dealing with a Gemini. So if you're not a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Gemini. An Aquarius could be dealing with, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. It just doesn't have to be though. Um, Well, I'm hearing you've been working on taking control of some situation. But. I'm concerned about the Four of Pentacles. Because. Three of Cups is celebration, and it can mean uh, friends, family, but friends in particular. And the Nine of Cups is about independence and nurturing yourself. And the Four of Pentacles is, uh, and the regular writer rate is holding on to something um, and trying to balance your life, balance things, but holding on so tightly that you're not moving forward and you're gripping. Uh, something so tightly and in this particular picture uh, air signs this person is blindfolded so not seeing something for what it really is a relationship so you have some sort of you have some sort of decision to make about a partnership you may have some self-healing to do I'm going to need to get some clarifiers here. So, let's just get a few cards. Thank you, Spirit. Well, there's the sun. All right. Okay. This is giving me a better idea. Okay. I'll get to these in uno momento. Well, there's quite a wad there. Um, you have the Eight of Swords. You're feeling trapped and bound in a situation, but the Eight of Swords, you see the blindfold again? You're not seeing something. You're either refusing to see, to see something, denying something, not seeing something. But your thoughts are keeping you trapped. And Two of Pentacles is trying, again, trying to balance. Up and down and up and down. It's, it's endless. Queen of Pentacles is after that. You're trying to be patient with the situation. But air signs, all your air signs here. Um... Because you have, well, there's the King of Pentacles. So, um, and the Queen of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So, with these two cards, you could be dealing with, possibly, King of Pentacles is, is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And Queen of Cups is generally the Cancer card. But uh, it could be any other water sign, Pisces or Scorpio also, in addition to Cancer. But again, it does not have to be. The Sun card is Leo. You could be dealing with any sign, really. Um... You had the Queen of Pentacles under there and the King of Pentacles under there. Could be a twin flame situation. Just saying. Um, so let me let me start with the Five of Swords here. Okay. The Five of Swords, whomever you're dealing with air sign, may be, I don't know, a little arrogant. Almost oblivious to whatever actions, or maybe combative, but whatever whatever um, they're doing, whatever actions they have taken, are almost oblivious to whom they have hurt. Um, maybe being sharp with the words, maybe it's an argument, 
and it's like they're a little arrogant or full of themselves. Okay, just saying. So, you may not be seeing, you may not be seeing the situation as it really is. Maybe you're involved with work or working on something else. Um, and if you are trying to control this person and get them to see your way, I don't think they're going to see it. They're, they're just not programmed that way. They're just not programmed that way. Just saying. Um, but you do have the King of Pentacles. But you see how the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles is looking the other way. So the King of Pentacles is a ma uh, it's a ma probably obvious, but a masculine energy. And the King of Pentacles, as far as I'm concerned, placed here, is looking towards better times. Queen of Cups is a very nurturing energy. So it's as if you need to... And so is the Nine of Cups. I mean, this is... I mean, look how the... I'm just going to point this out. Do you see? And you could be pregnant. So, I mean, just... If you look at the Queen, she's holding her belly. You look at this person holding the belly. Now, it doesn't mean... That could be me, a very small number of you, if any of you. That doesn't necessarily mean, but it's... Mean a pregnancy, literally. These cards are, are generally seen as nurturing the self. Nurturing yourself and the child within as if as if you were a child be gentle with yourself but it but with all that going on you have the sun so you have the star and the sun so whatever this is it's going to work out so with this card here you are keeping yourself trapped in your thoughts your thoughts are what's keeping you trapped in this situation but you do have to make some sort of decision if you want to be with this person, and this could almost be your uh, masculine energy and feminine energy, more of your cerebral thinking and your emotional thinking, and it may be clashing, and you have to decide, am I going to follow my heart, or am I going to be more rational about this, or maybe you need to balance the two. Yes, I love this person, but is this partnership really what I want? Am I sugarcoating anything? Am I thinking it's all flowers and, and you know, smells pretty? And is, is and then you take off the blindfold and all well, shit. Those are weeds, <laughs> you know. Just saying. So what do you think about your situation here, um, air signs, and assess whether this situation is how you are, is it really how you're perceiving it, or is that all in your mind? You know, I mean, maybe you're thinking that the person is cheating or something, and maybe they're not. So it could be something like that too. We'll see though. We'll get to the individual. Let me reshuffle these and reshuffle those because I'm going to need those. All right, so we will start with Gemini. And again, I'll use the same Oracle deck. Gemini's. Gemini's. My twin flame is a Gemini. He's a very sweet, beautiful soul. So I love Gemini's. Not that I don't like all the air signs, but because uh, I know a number of, I know a handful of Aquarians too. They've always been cool. I've always been friends with Aquarians. But almost all my friends are Gemini's. <laughs> and it's funny because I am a water sign, but I'm not your typical water sign because I'm on the cusp of Leo. I have an Aries moon, Taurus rising. So I have uh, fire, a lot of fire in my chart and um, air. Libra, Mars, Jupiter, Gemini. And then uh, Venus, Mercury, and Leo. So... Yes, I'm a water sign, and I do have some elements and some characteristics, I guess, of a water sign. But being on the, I'm on the cusp of Leo and have a lot of fire in my chart. I can be pretty fiery sometimes. <laughs> Sizzling, if you will. <laughs> Almost sometimes boiling water. All right, Spirit, what do you have for our Geminis? Well, we'll, we'll say Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for right now. And then we'll get a general energy of these. I'll shuffle one more time. Cut the deck. Try not to make these too long because I don't want you to have to... I know I am going to time stamp it, but, you know, I want you to be able to get your message and uh, not have to worry about trying to thumb through a whole lot of video just to get to it. All right, Spirit. What do we have for... Oh, yes, okay. We have... Taking risk, Gemini. Well, well, yeah. Forgiveness. Ooh, ooh, that's for Libra. And for Aquarius? Power, of course. How appropriate is this? 
Potential. Interesting. Potential. Potential and just underneath wisdom. So, you are all air signs, in my opinion, are very wise signs. Not that the other signs can't be either, but in particular Aquarians, because I've known a number of Aquarians who are well beyond. But, you know, uh, I don't know a whole lot of Libras, so I can't speak for Libras per se. So I'm not leaving you out, Libras. I just don't know enough Libras to be to have experience. Gemini's too. It's but but Aquarians and Gemini's almost have a different type of wisdom. Anyways, moving on. Gemini. Let's get to yours first. All right, potential and wisdom. Taking a risk. Taking a risk. I think that Gemini, whatever's going on in your life, I see this almost like hang gliding. You know, like a person who's never gone hang gliding before. And one day they just decide, uh, maybe they're afraid of heights or something. So it's almost like you have a fear of something. But maybe they're afraid of heights and they say, you know what? I am going to get over this fear of heights. I'm going to go hang gliding. And the reason I say hang gliding is because I'm hearing that whatever risk, you're going to fly. You're going to fly. There's so much potential in here. And you do have the wisdom within, so don't doubt yourself. In case you, I know Gemini's have a hard time making decisions. One day, one minute you can say, this is what I want to do. And then you rethink it and you go, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. On second thought, no, I want to do this. And then, you know, 10 minutes later, it's like, well, wait a minute. Or do I want to do this? And, you know, you go through that whole, <laughs> that whole thing. Just saying. All right. So, taking risks, Gemini. What can you tell us, please, Spirit, about the Gemini specifically? Taking a risk in what? Or how? Or what, what further messages oh what further messages do you have well there we go and of course <laughs> when i go down there i can't i can't reach and you know why i can't reach i said this in one of my other videos and i'm just gonna say it damn it it's the boobage the boobage is in the way <laughs> so i can't bend down and reach strength <laughs> strength gemini have strength where did my deck go <laughs> have strength and keep working at it. Keep working at it. <laughs> keep working at it because you're going to have victory. Ooh, the Empress. Feminine energy. All right. So the Empress is about, um, well, nurturing yourself. But nurturing your dreams. I'm hearing nurturing your dreams. Maybe this is something you've always wanted to do, Gemini. You know, you guys are very innovative. Very creative and innovative. And you always have all these great ideas. Seriously. You have all these great ideas or things you want to do. And um, not that you aren't risk takers to begin with. But this one you were kind of maybe doubtful about. So I'm hearing nurture this idea. Nurture something that you've always wanted to do. Gather your strength and your courage. Work towards whatever you want. Whatever dream this is. Whatever you want to do. Because you're going to be victorious. There's a lot of potential in this. And you're going to learn. The wisdom you're going to get from this is you're going to learn even more about yourself. You know? You're going to learn a lot about yourself. There's just, I mean, this is kind of cut and dry. Victorious. Potential. Something you wanted to do. Something very, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm taking your cards away. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Eight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. There you go. It's back. All back. <clears throat> okay. Libra. Libras. I only know one Libra, and he's pretty cool. He's, um, oh, here we go, Libra. That was quick. Uh, gee, there's not just straight to the point here. Um, and you got the Eight of Swords, too. Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, Libra, independence. Independence and being content. And it could be financial. This could be about work but it doesn't have to be um but i do know a libra who libra who um he just decides he wants to go somewhere and you know he'll post on facebook that you know he's in mexico or the next thing you know he's he's in um florida and he's gone on the monsters of rock cruise he's just i mean it's fun to watch him his life you know it's like traveling along with him he's you know he's pretty cool anyways eight of swords libras you're trapping yourself, too. You're caught in your mind. Just like this is kind of reiterating what we already had. And I'm hearing forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Now, you may have someone you need to forgive. So, again, take this as it resonates. But it's almost like you're looking up in the sky here. Forgive me, spirit. I know not what I do. 
So forgive yourself, though. Or maybe you're, you have to forgive yourself and you're asking spirit, what do I do? Because you've been caught in your thoughts and you've been pretty, I'm hearing you've been pretty harsh on yourself. Going back and forth and back and forth, not sure what to do. But you know what? Maybe it doesn't seem like it's moving forward. Maybe it doesn't seem like you're doing enough. Slow and steady wins the race, Libra. You know, I know that air signs like to move forward. And sometimes I like to move forward at a faster pace than usual. And that's all fine and dandy. But you know what? Right now, not, not, it's not that you need this. I mean, this Knight of Pentacles is pretty slow. It's like it's, he's at a standstill. And that's not the tempo of the air signs. And you Libras may want to go. But this particular instance, um, it's almost like, what? You stop for a second to stop for a second to listen and think. Stop to think. Okay, wait. Where where do I really want to go? Once you figure out where you want to go, once you forgive yourself, then you can move forward. Baby steps. All right, but forgive yourself. And um, and you're an independent person. I mean, you're enjoying your independence, though. I don't know. So just saying. Okay. And now we have the Aquarians out there. Power. Jeez. I don't even know why I want to see this. Aquarius. You Aquarians are something else, I'll tell you. You air signs are all something else. But, yeah, I'm not a number of Aquarians. They're pretty fun, too. I had a friend. Her name's Casey. Hi, Casey. Uh, birthday's February 11th. Um, she was another one. I'd call her and they'd be like, hey, what are you doing? Where are you? And she didn't even live that far from me. And I, she'd be like, oh, I'm in Louisiana at Mardi Gras. And then I'd call her again, not too long after that, she was like in some exotic island, like Fiji or something. It wasn't Fiji, but it was something like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? And it was, she was always someplace different. It was, she never stayed in one place for very long. We got along great though. I worked with her. We, she was awesome to work with. All right, Aquarius. You got the Empress too. Interesting, interesting. Air signs. I think this is all about, this is interesting how there's kind of a theme here, but particularly with you air signs. You all have potential in your individual situations here. Situationships, if you will. Gemini taking risks. Libra about forgiveness. You, Aquarius, need to tap into your power. So you may have had some, some storms are brewing or things have been going on just like we had before, but yeah. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, I mean, you know, maybe lightning struck. Maybe lightning struck you and it hurt. It stung, man. Hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> but, but you got the power. You're electric, Aquarius. And I'm looking at the potential card, which I didn't really notice before. It's a volcano. It is just spewing with energy and power. <laughs> um, but you need some time alone. And because... We have the Empress card here at least twice, and I'm not sure what um, card we had before. We did have the Nine of Cups. I'm hearing that this air signs in, in Aquarius is time to nurture. Take some time out on your own. You have the wisdom within, and I know you know that. Uh, you're on the right path. Just take a moment. Take a moment to think. What do, what do I really want to do here? We have the answer. You have the light that can lead you ahead. Uh, you have it within, but you need to take a time out. And, okay, so these cards came in reverse. So you have the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. Four of Cups is resistance. But it's in reverse. And the Two of Swords. A decision to make. You're either not following your intuition, because, you know, air signs, and particularly Aquarians, like to be more logical, that's probably like, you know, maybe hokey stuff for some of you. But really listen to your intuition because it's almost like you're not hearing it. And, you know, here in the picture, um, the Spirit's offering you a cup or someone's offering you a cup of love. It's asking you to be, here's a cup of love for yourself. Find some love for yourself. And you're being resistant to it. And it's in reversal. It's like, nope, want nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Well, air signs in Aquarius. Y'all, you need to nurture something within yourself because you've got great potential. You all have enough wisdom to get through this these situations. Gemini needs to take a risk. Uh, Libra needs to have forgiveness for something, but I think that that would be yourself, Libra. And, um, you know, for you, Aquarius, tap into your power. 
No matter what's happening in your life, tap into your power. You're a very powerful person. Take some time off on your own and, um, and don't be resistant to taking some time off of your, your own. And don't be resistant to listening to your intuition. Because sometimes, sometimes your intuition knows best. You can be very wise. You know what I'm saying? All right. We have our fire signs and our earth signs left. We will do fire signs next. Aries, a Leo. And Sag. Sagittarians. All right. I hope my phone doesn't poop out. The last time I did this, and I did each individual sign, my phone just stopped. I'm going to cry. Because this was, I want to get this out for y'all. And it's going to be over an hour, but I am going to timestamp it, so. All right. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Fire signs. <laughs> Three of swords and temperance came out. <laughs> Having some heartbreak. Needing some balance. Patience maybe. And fire signs can be pretty impatient sometimes. Just saying. I'm an Aries moon, I know. <laughs> Sha. Okay. Alrighty then. Alright, fire signs. Let's see what I can get here for you. Let me just cut the deck because I don't want to run out of juice here on my phone. I shouldn't, but. Yeah, you know, whatever's. All righty, wait, wait, wait. All right. Knight of Swords. So we have a couple of cards face up, one face down. Knight of Swords. Moving ahead at any cost. All right, be careful there, though, air signs, because sometimes the Knight of Swords can move too fast, too quickly, and miss something, or, or misstep, you know? You could be running through these rings and trip over one, and then, then you're going nowhere. Uh, I'm just saying. All right, you have two sevens here. Seven of Cups and Seven of Wands. Mmm. Mmm, having some indecision, having some indecision... You have options, but you're, it's almost like you're having a hard time making a choice of some sort. And the Seven of Wands is almost like... Um, <laughs> I'm hearing a temper tantrum. I'm sorry. With this card, I mean, the person looks like they just want to move ahead, and I don't want to have to wait. I do not want to have to fucking wait. Okay? But that could that could be a problem. Again, you got the Magician. And what I'm hearing, this is underneath. <sighs> okay, let me see here. Um... You gotta be careful because something may be an illusion. What you think you want may be may not be what you want. And this is a collective for all the fire signs. So Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag, be careful. You have options. You're having a hard time making a choice. But you wanna just let's just do this, pick one, and let's move forward. Let's go. No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing wrong with wanting to move forward, but something is an illusion. And you're not going to be paying attention, and you may make the wrong choice. You may make the, uh, the wrong choice is, is in, in that you make that choice, and it's like, oh, crap, that's not what I wanted. What? I mean, you can't really go back in time and fix it, because if you're just taking a, one beat, a couple seconds, you know? All right, Fire Signs. Aries. Ready? What do we have? Four our Aries out there. Our Aries, our Leo, and our Sag. What can you tell me? Purification. Aries, what's that all about? Miracles. Going forward. Nice. Adventures. Well, no, that's all cool because that's that's so about fire signs. <laughs> Adventures. Purification for our Aries. Miracles for the Leos. And going forward for our Sages. Okie dokie. Purification. Interesting. 
purification. I'm hearing that clear your mind of any preconceived notions of what should happen, could happen. Um, if it rains, if it's pouring, just know that there will be a... Uh, so I'm hearing just clear your mind, purify your mind and your soul. If it's raining and it's stormy, with storms come growth, and there's always going to be, many times, a beautiful rainbow that goes with it. Right, Aries? We're going to use these for the Aries this time. Okay, Aries, what can you tell me about Aries, their situation? What do they need to purify? Communication? Ooh, well... Hey, 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 Six of Cups. All right, Six of Cups can be about a reunion, uh, a reconciliation with someone. It could very well be a love situation. It's all about memories in the past. Fond memories of someone. Fond memories. Maybe you had stormy times with this person, Aries. Um, and you want to communicate, and you want to communicate quick. You want to communicate with them. That is all about communication, fast action. And Three of Cups celebration. So all the way around, it sounds like it could be a good deal. You're going to go on an adventure with somebody. I'm hearing it's a love situation. Underneath is Five of Wands. That's fire sign, wands. Um, eight of wands is two, so that's you guys. Um, yo. That's you, Aries. So, you may be having some internal battles about what to do about this person from your past. Purify those thoughts. Get those thoughts out of there. Purify. No negative thoughts. When it rains, it pours. But, with again, with the rain comes a lot of growth. Uh, flowers bloom. Love can bloom. Like spring. Spring is a coming. There you go, Aries. I'm hearing this could be this could be a, a, a an adv adventurous for you as far as love. <laughs> Miracles, Leo. Card already fell. Five of Cups. Having some regret about something. Not anymore. Not anymore. Something's going to happen in your life. That is. Let me get one more card here for Leo, please. And then we can get the bottom of the. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see what this is. Oh, Leo! Ten of Pentacles. A lesson has been learned, but you're going to have abundance in every sense of the way. Maybe monetary, love. It's just abundance. So whatever's going to happen, and it's, going to be, it's going to be a miracle for you. It's going to be a wish come true. This was on the bottom of the deck when I first got this card out. And then I mixed it back in, and it's back, the Page of Wands. Uh, communication. It's going to strike you like lightning. It's going to strike you down and strike you down in a good way. It's going to blow you away. This, this, this is a love situation, Leo. Someone is going to want to commit to you. Are you going to meet somebody? I don't know, but this particular situation is going to blow you away. Again, it's going to hit you like lightning. See? Lightning. You know, you're going to have communication, and it's going to spark something that you never really realized could happen. All right. Going forward, Sagittarians. What can you tell me about my Saggies? Oh, we're not quite an hour yet. I might be able to make this. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, Sag. What do we have for the Sagittarians here? Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you worrying about? What are you worrying about? Be patient with yourself. Be patient. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Two of Wands. Making some sort of choice. Choosing your path. All right, and there's your path going forward, going forward. But look at look at the end of the path. There's a light. You're way over here. You still have a ways to go. You still have some growth, but there is light at the end. Look how beautiful that is. All the growth and the trees and the ah. Oh. <laughs> but something has been worrying you, stressing you out, keeping you up at night, nightmares. Be patient. Be patient. It's coming. It is coming. Keep your eye on the prize. Stay focused. Stay grounded. Okay. Could be a um, earth sign. Just saying. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay? So whatever it is, you choose what path you want. Take your time. Knight of Wands to me is the fast and the furious. And sometimes you air signs, not your air signs, I'm sorry, fire signs, can just want to move. I want it. I want to go and I want to go now. You know? 
you got adventures. You all have adventures for you coming. You know? All right. Earth signs. Earth signs. Now, last but not least, earth signs. Taurus. Virgo. Capricorns. All right, Taurus. The little bulls. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I know Taurus, and I know Capricorn's going to be stubborn. I'm not really sure about... Oh, crap. I'm not really sure about uh, Virgos. Um, I'm thinking that you might be uh, stubborn in the sense you like things to be perfect, so you may be stubborn in that sense. I don't know. You can you can correct me. I, You know, uh, my dad was a Virgo. I don't really know if he was stubborn. He's kind of set in his ways a little bit, but... He was a good guy. I love my dad. My dad's no longer alive, though. He was a good guy. He was a workaholic, though, man. You earth signs. You're all about work. I'll say that much. You're not afraid of work. Let me make sure he's not up in reverse. Okay. So we're going to get some general energies. And then I will shuffle those mothers. For you all. Okay, earth signs, you ready? Let's, let's get it rolling here. All right. What do you have, sir, for the earth signs? For the weekend. This is for the weekend. I don't know if I said that. Weekend energy. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right. We have Eight of Swords. Again. What is it with people keeping themselves down? Oh, that's too many. I'll take these. <laughs> Too many. Ten of swords. Whoa. Earth sign. What's going on here? All right. So we have ten of swords. Man, you have been hurt. You have eight of I'm going to leave the eight of Well, that's seven of wands. Uh, you've been hurt, stabbed in the back pretty badly. You look pretty defeated there, Earth signs. You know, the only good thing about the Ten of Swords is the truth comes out. You move forward a new beginning with uh, the truth. So you've been hurt and the truth comes out. Underneath that is the Eight of Wands. Communication, fast movement forward, moving and travel. Traveling forward, though. I hear traveling forward at a quick pace. You got away from this, whoever hurt you. And the Eight of Swords is an energy of keeping yourself entrapped. Um, feeling defensive. Uh, and this is, this is kind of like a, an energy of a temper tantrum. Some of you dealing with may have had a temper tantrum and lashed out at you. And that was it. That's all you needed to say. You know what? I'm out of here. I don't need that because there's the world. That's the end of a cycle. Come full circle. Time to move forward. Time to move forward, Earth signs. I believe. Well, let's see what else we have here. Be patient. It's coming. Let me see what else fell. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard for me to reach down there. I hope I don't knock the camera. King of Wands, yep. You're going to be free. King of Wands is all about being a free spirit. And uh, stepping into your power. Stepping into your power, or signs. Okay. Let's do... I need to shuffle these, because let me see. Miracles. It went forward. That was for the last ones. Let's mix these in so they're not all together. All right. All right, or signs. Here we go. We can read. Okay, here we go. Well, can you say, tell the, um, for the weekend, energy for going the weekend and moving forward, March 13th, 14th, 15th, Friday the 13th, <laughs> um, oh, yep, yeah, this one, flexibility, that's for Taurus, you stubborn little bull zoo, <laughs> Virgo, love, nice, and potential for the Capricorns, community, wow, this is cool. And underneath that is leadership. Maybe you're leading a community group or something. But community, which can be being out there in the community. Um, I don't know why the rainbow is reminding me of the, and I, I forgive me, but the 
LG B T Q. <laughs> I don't know all the letters, but I'm hearing that the um, for, you know, forgive me, I don't know all the letters, but I'm almost hearing that that's the community. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, sorry. Um, flexibility. Taurus. I'm almost hearing here, you need to relax a little. And it's almost like, you know, the tiger is always ready to strike. But, I don't know if the tigers will strike if they're not hungry, honestly. I'm thinking that maybe... It just depends on the situation. But some situation is calling you to be flexible. Maybe you need to work together with some people and uh, you may have a certain idea of how you think something should be done. But it's asking you to be a flexible. It could be a relationship, I guess. But with a community card, I'm thinking it has to do with work. Um, some sort of group situation. You know? And if you are in a leadership role, you definitely have to be flexible. You have to kind of set... Uh, an example but you don't want to be so rigid that they think this person is not going to listen to anything we all have to say nobody wants to work with someone who's like that, not really you're powerful page of swords bottom of the deck is strength this is, <laughs> this is going to call for you to come upon your strength and your courage your strength for sure This is not. it's not easy for you to maybe let others take the reins or let others uh, make the decisions. Maybe you're used to making the decisions or you're you're used to coming up with an idea and other people kind of working with you, but kind of going along with your, again, the leadership role. You're used to being the leader. Maybe I should leave that out just in case that has any... Um... The Queen of Wands is a card of stepping into the power. Step into your power. Page of Swords is... Um... An energy of getting down to business, getting down to the nitty-gritty, getting through the bullshit. So you may be with a group of people who are, um, maybe some people are goof-offs, or they're not being very uh, productive. And the Queen of Wands is, she's a very influential and charismatic person. You can use your charm, Taurus. Be flexible, but you can use your charm and be clever. And, um, you know, maybe get a feel for these people. Cut through the BS. Say, so listen, we have a job to get done here, but but pick out the strengths of each person, you know? Because it's almost like the Page of Swords is kind of like a person who is an investigator. See what works best with these people, you know? Let's say maybe you're trying to get something done in the day, and you say, listen, if we can get A, B, C, and D done, or at least A, B, and C, maybe you want D, so that's where you can be flexible. See, if we can get these done before lunch, then maybe we can, leave, we can continue with D and E, and then we can maybe leave early. It's all up to you guys, though. If you want to mess around, we're going to be here a lot longer. Huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it could be a work situation. Not so much for our Leos, though. Leos dealing with love. So you're going to be, I think, in some sort of community situation, Leo, and you're going to meet some sort of love. Oh, <laughs> I'll go down and get that in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, Leo. There's a heartbreak on the bottom, though. Let's see what we have. Oh, that one wasn't too bad to get. Hmm, okay. Here's, oh, good. Okay, that's what I'm hearing here. Okay, straight up, Leos. We're going to start off with, um... The Three of Swords. Three of Swords, Leo. Leo? <laughs> Why am I saying Leo? I have no idea where that came from. I'm so sorry, Virgo. I guess because they're before you? I, I don't know. I hope I said... Uh, I did say Taurus in the beginning, right? I am getting tired. I do need some coffee. More coffee. Virgo! Virgo is going to find love. Man... I know, Remy. You're supposed to correct me on these things. You see what happens. You know, you have a new assistant. Okay, he is learning, but, you know, <laughs> he's supposed to be the one that puts me in my... Uh, yeah? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Virgos. I really, really am. <laughs> You're not going to want to subscribe and listen to any more of my videos. Hey, fuck you, sister. You can't even get the signs right. <laughs> you have gone through some sort of heartache. Heartbreak, heartache, Virgo. 
And then under that you have the Ace of Swords, and under that you have the Nine of Wands. So what I'm hearing here, Virgo, is you basically had given up on love, or almost given up on love, because of some sort of heartache in the past. Uh, last relationship may not have been that great, but you had taken some time alone, and you really thought about it. You were true to yourself, and you thought, you know what, no. At some point, I do want to get into a relationship and um, dealt with it, you know? So you've gotten out there with the community, Virgo, <laughs> and you may have taken a leadership role on. Um, here, I'm going to put that back up there. Um, so there's room for your, your little pile here. Um, but you're going to meet somebody, I think. And I think you were in a time of, and this is a Four of Swords upright, but this is in reverse. It came up reverse. You were in a time, and there's the Three of Swords of heartbreak. So you took a time out from, from love. You took a time out to, to think things through, and here's that sword. Here's that one sword. And you were honest with yourself, accepted the situation for what it was, and so you basically were saying, when the time comes, I will then leap into action. I will be open to love. And it's in reverse, so you've already gone through all that. I think, it, or either that or you're still in the process of that, depending on when this happened. Um, you know, maybe you're still in the process of trying to work through that and you haven't quite gotten to the time alone stage yet, but I'm hearing that you have worked through it because here's brand new, a lot of growth and a brand new start, brand new, shiny new start. You know, it could be at a, a work situation. Maybe it's someone you work with. So Virgo, love, doing something in your community is going to bring you some new love, I think. All right, Capricorns, here we go. You have potential. What can you tell me, Spirit, about Capricorn? What is the potential here? What is the energy of the potential card? Oh, here we go. Ooh, Queen of Wands. You both have the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of power here. Moving away from something that has taken away your power. High Priestess. The High Priestess, um, oh, you have heartbreak too. So maybe, maybe you were also in a relationship, Capricorn, that caused you heartbreak. But you stepped into your power. You listened to your intuition and you moved away from this relationship and now you have the potential. And let me tell you, you erupted like, <laughs> when you found out, you erupted like a volcano. But you know what? Um, there's potential though for new love here, Capricorn, potential for new love. And again, that could be in a leadership role and in your community, you know, the new love. Very interesting. Okay. Well, thank you to everyone who joined and tuned in. I hope this helped you all in some way. Uh, the other signs are probably gone now, but for those of you who may still be here, <laughs> uh, do subscribe and join the tribe, share, comment like you know uh, you never know when one of the readings that come up that pop up may give you more information on your situation on your particular situation you know so um um earth signs and whoever else may still be here do join the tribe and subscribe eventually i will be going live i'm on instagram and facebook um instagram live i can't go i do this on my phone so i can't do it on youtube yet i have to have a thousand subscribers to go live on youtube so i can't do what i wanted to do this month but, again, all in good time. <laughs> so, help me out and subscribe and join the tribe. And, and you can at least get your monthly um, readings or bi-weekly, depending on how often I can do them. And the Twin Flame reads, if you're into that. Um, I do daily reads, which, you know, I call it Daily Dose. So, it's your Daily Dose of Wisdom. And it just, it kind of keeps going. I'd say energy is fluid. It starts, you know, maybe a Monday reading, but it goes forward. That energy can flow forward and overflow into the next day and the next day. And, you know, flow forward. So, all right, great. I get a phone call. That's a scam probably. So, um, but it was the end of the reading, thankfully. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you will come back and I hope you will subscribe and join the tribe. I would, Remy and I would love that. I would appreciate it. And comment and share, like, please, so I can get a little feedback. If you like this format. Not maybe I can tweak it and do something different. So, you know, constructive criticism is always welcome here. I can 
I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> Thank you so much for all you who tuned in. Love you and peace out. Have a great weekend. Peace out.